Okay, love bugs. So we have done the big, the beautiful, the bold, the va va voom all summer long with our 22, our 24, our 26 inch wigs. And it's time to bring it up a little bit for the fall. This one comes courtesy of Recool, Recool hair, if you will. They sent me over this beautiful 16 inch deep wave lace wig. She is a wear and go pre cut lace wig, so she's gonna be super and easy. And you guys can see that hairline like what lace I did that i did so good in styling this one i'm so proud of myself but of course i cannot take all the credit and you guys know that there has to be a piece of hair embarrassing me in my lash but they definitely did an awesome job on the lace on this one and you'll see it all throughout the video how beautiful it is you also see like the start or how it looks when you first put her on and you'll see when you comb her out she gets super big and beautiful and then of course you'll see the finished result which i have here i can't wait my birthday is next week and then the week after that it should start to get cold and start to feel like fall so like my big chunky sweaters I kind of hang off with a cute little simple look like this is gonna be super 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 adorable I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the tutorial be sure to check her out I do have a direct link in the description box and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial jumping right into it this is our beauty and she's gonna be the star of the show today this is a 16 inch curly glueless wig for more details she's a short bouncy deep curly HD lace wig here's a quick look at the inside construction of the cap as well as the adjustable elastic band as we put her on i do want to mention that she is 180 percent density she is a five by five lace closure wig did i mention she comes with scallop cut pre-cut lace and this is what she looks like from the back you can also opt for a 14 inch in this one or a 13 by 4 lace so there is options you can go frontal or closure 14 or 16 inches in length this is what she looks like when you brush her out with a wig brush she gets nice and very 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 big which i love the versatility of that that means you can definitely do a lot of different things with this wig i'm gonna go ahead and style her up for you guys so we are definitely gonna define the curls for sure but i just wanted to comb her out so you guys can see the versatility today i'm gonna be using a mousse and this one i picked up at target i told you guys i wanted to try out different products so don't be shy always in the comments recommend different products you would like to see me use this one is from the brand ogx and i picked up this mousse as well as an air dry conditioner both products have been used on this channel and i'm going to use the, each of the products in a different way this here i like because it's like a air what do you call it aerosol is it aerosol can maybe i'm saying that wrong but it's like the, the tin cans so when you spray it out into your hand it kind of like inflates and puffs up i added a generous amount and then i added a little bit of water to stretch that product out again this one here is just the mousse and what will happen is this one will dry a little bit more crunchy especially because i'm not adding a cream i have used this product alone and it does um, remain a lot more soft if you add the cream first and then the mousse second that's definitely a way to get your soft bouncy curls but today i wanted the crunch because i find that when you add your product to your mousse for example and then you you know comb it out and you clump the curls it'll add a little bit of a hold a a crunch and that will allow the look to last for a few days without having to restyle it it'll just get softer over time and you'll just have to add just a little bit of water for a refresh I did both sides the exact same way today I did not use the dimming brush I did use like a wig style brush and again I love the natural curl of this one she's absolutely beautiful and you guys see how she went from one curl straight out of the box to big and ba ba boom to like these nice defined curls as well well that is what I mean by versatility you can definitely switch it up with this one you can even go in and like Shirley Temple curl the ends and diffuse it and that would be a great look as well but today I did go ahead and use a glueless adhesive just to give her a little bit of hold also I did skip the dynamic duo you guys know that is one of my favorite steps even with my wet and curly looks um, but I did use a little bit of heat just to get her dry because I did want to bring back the big volume and I also wanted to see what she would look like in a drier state so the blow dryer did help me along the way even though I did not use the diffuser attachment she's absolutely beautiful and this is where she looks like dry on one side and then this side she is still wet again if you want a little bit more volume use a dim use a diffuser or you can use um 
Now I'm going in to style the baby hair. Now with this one, you don't need baby hair at all. The lace melts effortlessly, but you guys know I love baby hair. It's my favorite thing, and micro baby hair happens to be my favorite way to add baby hair without it being too overpowering. This way I can trim it down super duper short and just allow each of the pieces to kind of go in their own funky direction. And this looks good, especially on like two and three day old hair. The more old the hair or the look gets, the more they kind of just go in their own like fluffy direction they're not long enough to actually swoop which is even better because it just gives like messy ponytail or messy curls and then the baby hair that just fell naturally into place i did use mousse to style these baby hairs um and then i added a little bit of my bdac beauty dot com edge control on top for a little bit of extra help to kind of like you know get the perfect look i did go ahead and allow these to dry off camera using um, a melt belt and this is going to melt the lace down and really really make it blend with the skin one of the last steps i like to do is to tint the lace i am using a um what did i use today i used a concealer today and this concealer surprisingly is my skin tone for some reason when i use something that's skin tone it looks even lighter in the parting and then i used a foundation powder along the hairline to set you can see that the lace is definitely melted in i still wish i did the dynamic duo because you guys know i love how that makes everything the lace looks super flat with no lumps but again we were going for more of a natural heatless look so you know it worked this is the box and the packaging from recool hair not only did my wig come in the beautiful box but they also added in this gorgeous dust bag which was loaded with goodies this is some hd wig caps this here is a black bonnet you can't go wrong with black they also included these alligator clips i love those in a good pop of color and then they also included the recool melt belt super nice they also added in this flower print headband my girls love these um, a pair of 3d eyelashes and then also this rat tail comb a baby hair brush in the color blue it kind of looks like a toothbrush doesn't it and then last but not least they also added in some bobby pins super nice Okay, so we are done with the look. This wig came from Recool Hair, and you guys kind of seen um, the start, the during, and the finish. It looks pretty good as a start. Once you go ahead and wet it down and tame it, it's beautiful. You guys can see when you comb it out, it does the big afro thing, and then when you go ahead and add product, it definitely defines beautifully, which means that this one definitely has a great amount of versatility. Now, I love a good, like, shorter wig. I believe this is 16 inch, and the texture is deep wave. So I love this length it's a great switch up you guys know during the summertime i love my 22 24 26 i don't really do 30 that often i don't do 28 that often and 26 sometimes is a little bit pushing it 22 is like my safe space but i will do a 20 then 18 then 16 is very much more my like fall and winter looks where i kind of like have done like the super long big dramatic hair all summer long and then i kind of give it a break so this is a perfect timing to have a wig of this look this texture where i can still do my Bye -bye boom, but I'll just kind of have like brought it up a little bit um and then this will be really cute like my sweaters and things like that because again it's September it's almost my birthday my birthday typically is like one of the hottest um of the summer although the weather is changing in California so that may be debunked but yeah after my birthday like a week later it usually starts to get cold so I'm ready to bring out the sweaters and things like that and this will be cute with like your sweaters like kind of like hang off super cute and very much natural I love a good pre-cut lace and I love the fact that this one's very easy to install the lace itself melted beautifully because really and truly can you find the lace i think it did a great job but they also sent me a great wig that didn't need too much smoke and mirrors to make it happen also included tons of goodies which i can appreciate i hope you guys enjoyed this one i will have a direct link to her in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches